Brexit is the black and Latinos departing from the Liberal Democratic Party throughout America. city of Los Angeles is a city of sharks. You have to close your purse tight and with sellotape and a few locks and screws, close it. We're going to see Candace Owens, this amazing woman who is a new politician and she's, uh, she's going to run for president. We're at the Globe Theatre in Los Angeles and I'm fighting for Blexit and Brexit. Talk about what Blexit is and, and what opportunity is in front of us because I truly believe that the black and Latino community is going to save America. I don't have to tell you guys in this room because we, we figured it out. We figured out that the left is lying to us. We figured out that liberals are lying to us. We figured out that they are using us to secure votes and to keep themselves in power and to keep themselves rich. Right? Minorities have been used in this country. And all of that changes today. She's a complete and utter freedom fighter. And uh, she believes in uh, the free uh, ability to earn your own money, to, uh, not to be patronized as a black person in America. And it's taking a leader like Candace Owens to go into the black community directly uh, and organize uh, you know, the, the, this movement around freedom, around free thought. And if you look at what's happening, um, it, it's a real revolution. But you just met Anne Coulson, what was it like? Oh, yeah. oh, she was a sweetheart and I wanted to buy her a beer and she took a picture of me and she hugged me and it was just fucking awesome. What I can't understand is why elected Republicans are helping them. Oh, now I remember. Um, Republicans are sucking up to businessmen who say they're our friends, but really could care less about the Republican Party, the culture, or the country. They just want the cheap labor. He's, he's a Democrat, okay? A fervent Democrat. And I am a fervent lover of Trump, okay? But both of He was astonished. I mean, honestly, it's quite amazing. Though. If you can get in there today, get in there. Take a magic wand and wave it over America and remove every smidgen of racism from the hearts of white America. Take it all out. We still have a 50% inner city dropout rate. We still have 73% of kids born outside of wedlock. We still have 25% of young black men with criminal records in jail, on probation, or on parole. There are people coming from Arizona, Colorado, Ohio, Texas, just to be homeless in downtown LA. I didn't know that. Why? Because they have resources. They're going to get showers. They're going to get, they're going to get rewarded for the behavior that they're continuing to have. And that has to stop. And I'm here to tell you, as a gay man, as a black man, as a black gay man, that I don't have to be a Democrat. Yeah. That I am a proud conservative. You know, they say the Democrat for the black folks, for the for the Mexican folks, the Republicans are the racist white folks. So, so I had that in my mind. All my boys on the police department used to tell me, "B, like I don't understand how you believe in God and you're a Democrat." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, nah, man, you know God, it ain't you know it ain't all about that, you know." But it was true. I was it was a they planted a seed. At the end of the day, this movement I want it to be driven by love. 
We know some of our brothers and sisters are not with us entirely right now, right? They're, they're still lost and confused and, and being sucked up by the left tongue and that they can't, they can't, they can't. So we have to treat them with love. Today, tonight, this is the beginning of the revolution and we are going to save America. Thank you guys so much. We need somebody like Candace Owens in England. Let's make Great Britain great again. You know this. Yeah.